Ladies and gentlemen, welcome everyone, and welcome to Victor Campenaert's attempt to set a new UCI hour record timed by Tissot. Thank you for being here. Thank you well on soms van ver tot hier te komen. A special thank to our partners of today who made all this possible. The International Cycling Union UCI, Tissot Watches, Lotto Sudal, Captains of Cycling, Energy Lab, and Golazo. Y bienvenidos a todos los invitados aquí en Aguas Calientes. Victor zit nu nog een kleine tien minuutjes in deze hot seat waarin hij net gaan zitten is. En daar concentreert hij zich nu helemaal voor zijn aanval en voor de start. Exact één minuut voor elf start de aftalklok. En zal je zien dat hij zich klaarmaakt met zijn fiets in het startblok. Victor zal dus trachten om het huidige wereldurenkort getimed door Tissot te verbeteren. Dat staat op naam van Bradley Wiggins. En onthoud dit al goed, dat kan handig zijn als u meer rondes begint te tellen en kilometers begint uit te tellen. Deze piste is trouwens 250 meter lang. Het huidige record staat op 54 kilometer en 526 meter. Zoals jullie wellicht hebben gevolgd, heeft Victor zich optimaal voorbereid, bijna een half jaar lang. Dus hij is hier helemaal klaar voor om er zo meteen aan te beginnen. Nog één klein, maar niet onbelangrijk verzoekje voor jullie. Victor wil zo goed mogelijk gefocust blijven, dat is heel belangrijk in die bochten. En om zijn concentratie er helemaal bij te houden. Dus hou uh, aanmoedigingen, applaus, gejoel, voorlopig zo. Als we vijf minuten voor het einde zien dat hij uh, mooi op schema ligt, dan kan dat uiteraard wel. En dan kunnen we hem nog helemaal aanmoedigen naar zijn laatste meters. Maar tot dan dus graag zo stil mogelijk. U mag uiteraard nog wel wat keuvelen, zeker ook tot we starten. En nog één laatste dingetje. Please, no flash photography during the time that Victor will be on his bike from the start to the finish. We wish you a pleasant noon here in Aguascalientes.
Mexican. Yes, you know that we, we used to say just Mexico, but the official name of our country is Mexican United States. This is the writer, Victor Campanaert. One meter, 73 centimeters, 72 pounds. Pound. He was born in Ambers, Belgium, in October 28, in 1991. Seven years, seven years old, this writer, ready to, to try to be in a history. The record that he's going to brought today at Aguascalientes track is the centennial ballot one. He's from Bradley Wiggins. That makes at the London Bello Park with 54 kilometers and 526 meters in an hour. It is not easier, but this man has a special preparation. He was training in Namibia for two months. And now he's here in Aguascalientes the last three weeks first for change time to Europe time and Mexico time and the highest Aguascalientes is 1885 meters under sea level that's why he was training one week for changing look the chain nice rider beautiful bike and time made by Tissot swings watches since 1853, which made an energy lab. Lotto Saudal is the team of the Victor Campanile and one division of, of Golazo. We are ready, and you too. A few minutes, the Mexican commissary is there in front of you, and UCI commissar in front. We're going to be an official in Jersey, you see World Tour. Lotto Saudal is the team. Victor is ready, and we too. One hour is now expecting to know if Victor is the new record man. The history starts at 1893. Oh my God. Henry Desgrange, the tour winner, he makes 35 kilometers, 325 meters in an hour at Paris. At in 1893, after the Olympic Games, that's the Baron de Coubertin and Petredi start the games in 1896 at Athens. We are already less seconds to a start. In Europe, you have. Six o'clock in afternoon in Mexico time at Aguascalientes is eleven o'clock, two minutes past eleven o'clock. Ready? Pay attention right now. Listen. The chronograph is ready. Starting now. Victor is now on a track. It's a nice bellowed one. It's covered like the most famous tracks now. And look, this is the time that he needs to do. Slowly, no problem, one by one. This is time for the first lap. It's not too bad. 42 seconds at the first lap. This is the time that he needs to do because we need to be not under that minute in a kilometer. It's not easier. Third lap, third second lap. And now he's only behind himself. At the Wiggins, 35 years old, he took 218 laps plus 26 meters for the record. The last seven of June in 2015 at the Lee Valley Bello Park, London. Wiggins, tour winner and gold medalist at London Games in the first kilometer, 129. 
This is the time that he is going now. 50 point, two by two kilometers. He needs to be a little bit up now, but he's starting just for the first and a half kilometer. This track at the middle of the curve is 48 degree. And for the UCI, there is six world records over here. Sarah Hammer from United States was the first woman to make a world record in Aguascalientes for three kilometers pursuit in 2010. Three minutes, 22 seconds, and 269. The Germany sprint team makes a record with 41 seconds, 871 in three laps. And the Enders, Stretching Ailer, and Robert Forseman in 2013. And the most special record, because for 10 years, Arnaud Tourneau to France was the only one man to block the minute at the kilometer, making 59 seconds. La Paz, Bolivia, 4,000 meters under the sea level. But here in Mexico, in 2011, Seconds in a kilometer. But 10 minutes later, Francois Pervis to France makes the actual record of kilometer. 56 seconds, yes, 56 seconds, 303 meters in four laps. That's incredible. And the same Francois Pervis at the 200 flying meters over here in the same track, nine seconds and 347 meters for the best record of a sprint. Christina Vogel, well, you remember Christina, she's a wonderful woman, Olympic champion. She has the world record over here too, in 2013, 10 seconds, 384 meters in the 200 meters flying. Well, we are now with Victor Capenard, the Lotto Saudal team. Look the, the speed at the right corner. You can see he is now 53 kilometers, 616 meters. That's why he's trying to make better than this time. High speed is coming. Lap 16. Five minutes. 986. This is the kilometer four and a half. Lap 18. 200 laps to go to Brock. The Bradley Wiggins record. The position is technical correct for Victor Campenards from Belgium. And the history, first Belgium rider was Oscar van der Elly, that in 1897, came to Brook at Paris, 39 kilometers, 146 meters. And the second one, Ferdinand Brack at Roma, in 1967, October of 1967, he makes 48 kilometers, 93 meters for Ferdinand Brack. At the most famous Belgium cyclist, Eddie Merckx at Mexico Olympic Velodrome in October of 1972, he makes 49 kilometers, 400, 31 meters, but he couldn't block 15 kilometers in one hour. Look 
the coach is walking. Cycling lovers and cycling fans know that the trainer needs to walk in front to check that the time is going up. If the trainer walk behind on the start line, that's the signal that the rider is going a little back. 25 laps, six kilometers and a half. Now he's at the speed that he needs. 54 kilometers, 306 meters. Remember, the lead record for Bradley Wiggins is 54 kilometers, 526 meters in an hour. But now we are now around eight minutes, around eight minutes running by Victor Campanines. When Bradley Wiggins, 10 years ago, later, Alexander Downset from Movistar team at Manchester Velodrome had the record at the 52 kilometers, 937 meters. And Rohan Dennis can to rock it, 52 kilometers, 491 meters. But Bradley Wiggins, that the most of us suppose that he was finished as career, the cycling, Olympic championship, Tour de France championship. That's why the Queen Elizabeth made him Sir, Sir Bradley Wiggins. At 13, five years old, makes 218 laps plus 26 meters. That's why now we can to see that Victor is now I'm in this moment broken just 54 kilometers, 538. This is eight meters in front of the Bradley Wiggins records. This track, you know, Aguascalientes is the name of the capital of a state, 31 states at Mexico Republic. It's the same name at the state at the capital city. There is 8,000, 1,885 meters under sea level. That's why the Lotto Saudal and the Victor Campenar team looks for this track to try to block the world record in an hour. UCI, our world record is Atem over here with the Lotto Saudal team. Diamond by Tissot, Energy Lab, at nine kilometers, nine kilometers, he has a new record, but it's too early. <laughs> Look, the speed now is 54 kilometers, 689 meters in an hour. He looks strong. Looks good. Preparation was the best at Namibia and at Aguascalientes. This year, Victor Campenares go back from Namibia just for ride the Italian race, Tirreno Adriatico, where he came to win in one state. And he is the actual European time trial champion. That's why he is here, trying to rock. Now he's going for 10 kilometers. One more lap he has now, 10 minutes, 57. That's enough to now, but it's only 10 kilometers. For road riders, 44 kilometers is around the time on a road. But here on a track, look. The instruction is you are okay. Go ahead. 42 
laps now. He's going for kilometer 11. It's a really a strong natural time. 16 seconds in the lap, 11 kilometers. 44 laps. But don't forget that he needs to run for about 218 laps for an hour. The history of these records, I was telling you that in 1993, with the ranch to France, was the first one. But in the history, we have uh, famous names like Lucien Petit Breton to France in 1905 at Paris. 41 kilometers, 110 meters. Fausto Coppi, yes, the great Italian champion, the champion in 1942 at Milan. Jackson Ketil at Milan too, at Vigorelli Velodrome. 46 kilometers, 159 meters. Ercole Baldini, Italian rider, who was a gold medal at Olympics in Melbourne, Australia. Australia, well, Ercole Baldini makes 46 kilometers, 394 meters. Roger Riviere, two times in 1957 and 1959. Ferdinand Brack at Roma, Belgian rider, in October of 1967. Cantabroc, 48 kilometers, making 48 kilometers, 93 meters. Ole Ritter, the first man to take the Olympic velodrome at Mexico City, two days after the Olympic Games starting, makes 48 kilometers, 353 meters in an hour. And the cycling lovers, maybe you remember, Martin Emilio Cochise Rodriguez from Colombia. He makes in October of 1970, 47 kilometers, 566 meters. And then, two years late, Eddie Merckx. Great champion, the cannibal, can to make the record at 49 kilometers, 531 meters. And then starting with the Francesco Moser, the velodrome was not covered, and the track was in a cement, not in good. Francesco Moser. Came to Mexico Olympic Committee in Velodrome, and in only four days, Francesco Moser came to do two world records. First day, 50 kilometers, 808 meters, and too late, two, four days later, he came to take. 51 kilometers and 141 meters in an hour, Francesco Moser, in only four days. The same rider, a stronger rider. This is the UCI hour record, timed by Tissot, with Victor Campenaert. He's a cyclist, 20, 27 years old. And a strong man, maybe not that popular that Eddie Merckx or Francesco Moser, but the, the real fans of cycling, don't forget Chris Borman and Graeme Aubry, the Great Britain and Ireland riders that makes it at Birdeos in 1993 in July, Chris Borman great champion of Red Retain, 
makes 52 kilometers, 270 meters. And Grammy already broke again next year in 94. Same in Bordeaux Velodrome with 52 kilometers, 713 meters. And then the Spanish Miguel Indurain. Do you remember that bike from Miguel Indurain? was not exactly like the bike that we are looking now because the UCI changed the rules. But Miguel Indurain came to do 53 kilometers, 40 meters in an hour. Then, in the same year, 94, at October, Tony Rominger from Swiss, at the same Bordeaux track, came to Brook for 800 meters. But this is now a 55 kilometers, 22 meters an hour. Victor Campenaires is going in the right line to Brook, the Bradley Wiggins record. Chris Boardman be back in 1996, September of 1996, at Manchester Velodrome, to make 56 kilometers, 375 meters. Victor Campenard from Lotto Saudal is now on a track. He's going four kilometers. 17. 68 laps is going to close now. And this is the time, 18 minutes, 36 seconds, 55 kilometers, 37 meters, it's going up. Dan Bradley Wiggins record. Around the year 2000, when we changed the century, the UCI decided to make any rules for a record hour, because in that time, there will be records up than 2,000 meters under the sea level, or down 2,000 meters under sea level. And for covered tracks, or open tracks, and that's why the UCI decided to mark the human effort and the an hour record a different. Because yes, there was records that that's incredible, but they can to to rate around. 68 kilometers an hour, but the bicycle was a different. First rider who used these wheels, the cover wheels, Francesco Moser, Mexican Olympic Committee Velodrome in January of 1984, was the first rider who used a bike like this, more or less like this. Now we are going for 19 kilometers. One more lap, 75 laps now. Remember that he needs 219 laps. Now in the correct speed, 20 minutes, 45 seconds, and the speed is 55 kilometers, 44 meters at 19 kilometers. Going to the half of the record. An official, we have 22 minutes starting record from Victor Campenard, Lotto Saudal team. A special team who has three weeks at Aguascalientes, Mexico. Aguascalientes. It's around 550 kilometers from Mexico City, the capital of Mexico country. And this velodrome 
is 1,885 meters under sea level. That's why the Lotto Saudal team decide to take this truck to this atom with UCI, our world record. For cycling lovers, because you know that in the last Tour of Catalonia, Thomas de Gent, co-team to Victor Campenard, was the first leader at that race, that traditional tour, that has 99 years at this 2019. Nervous about the trainer. Pay attention every lap. And the chrono is now 21 kilometers in 22 minutes 53 seconds. It's going, it's going in time. Victor Campenard from Belgium. The Tossel Dal team. Every lap is timed by Tissot, the official chronograph of the UCI records. Looking, 6.22 is the signal that Victor can to see. And now it's 55 kilometers, 69 meters. He's going to kilometer 22. You check the distance he needs now. We 125 laps more. 22 kilometers in 24 minutes. He's making a strong effort. And all the rules of the UCI, official commissars. And all the condition for this official track for the UCI at Aguascalientes, Mexico. Now, 22 kilometers, 500 meters. Until the first two kilometers, Victor Campenares is going up. And now look, it's 6.31 advantage for the record of Bradley Wiggins. Five hundred meters behind of Bradley Wiggins, Victor Campenard at twenty two kilometers. 250 meters in front. The speed now for this atom is 55 kilometers, 79 meters. He is looking strong, sure. It's not easier to try. All concentration with the side. We are right over here at the track until 10 and 30 minutes this morning. And you can to see, and there is not public at the Bicentennial Velodrome in Aguascalientes. But it's a decision of the Lotto Saudal team. Just Belgium fans came here with Victor Campenard. Family, friends only. And right now, 
at 25 kilometers and 500 meters. He is going up 55 kilometers, 83 meters. But there is only to be 100 laps. Don't forget that he needs 219 laps to break the, the Bradley Wiggins record. Now the time, local time at Aguascalientes. The weather. Well, we have now around 28 degrees. The speed is the same 55 kilometers, 90 meters now. When he's trying now to go. At the middle of the distance, 25 and 500 right now, here. A lot of World Cups was made in this uh, beautiful track. And included a World Championship and on a special cyclist and Paralympic cyclist went here in 2015. So the public get nervous at the velodrome. Not exactly because Victor is in the same in the same in the same 55 kilometers 95 meters. Running now, 106. He's going to the half for the first 30 minutes. Now he's going for 28 minutes, 55 seconds, 29 minutes now. It's not exactly the half, but he's going to. Two more laps, he's going to be in that special moment at the half of the atom. Twenty five kilometers, one hundred eight laps, but it's not thirty minutes yet. He's going to be a little bit fast. 55 kilometers, 108 meters now, 109 laps, and now for, this is a lap 110, Victor Campenaerts from Lotto Saudal team is now 27 kilometers, 500 meters, is exactly at the middle of the attempt, 30 minutes. It's it. Okay, he's going now. Thank you. Attention, Belgium. Attention, all the cycling fans. It is going to be possible a new world record. UCI, our record. This atom cross the half because he is now 113 laps. But he's running 500 kilometers, 118 meters. Now he's arriving at minute 31 minutes. 28 kilometers, 500 meters. He needs right now 103 laps, no more. That's enough to rock the Bradley Wiggins record. Like a machine. His leg like a piston. Strong, sure. Wonderful race. 
Victor Campenart is going to the history. We remember when Francesco Moser makes the records at the Olympic Committee in Velodrome and safe to the Eddie Merz records at the Mexican Olympic Velodrome. But both was with open track. Don't used to have, and the Velodrome that time was 333 meters for lap. Right now it's 250 meters each lap. It makes the Velodrome fastest. Now we're arriving to the kilometer 13. It's now 120 laps, 32 minutes. It's going, it's going, 55 kilometers, 130. Victor Campenart. Until 55 kilometers, 131 meters. He needs less than 100 laps now, right now. The lap time is fastest. 16 seconds by lap. The table, the training table for Lotto Soudal team was planning to be back of 20 seconds each lap. That's enough to break Wadley Wiggins' record. Until June 7, 2015, at Lee Ballet, Bello Park, London, Velodrome, Bradley Wiggins, when he was 35 years old, he makes 54 kilometers, 526 meters. That's the record that Victor Campenar's Lotto Saudal team is now trying to rock in Mexico at Aguascalientes Velodrome. Look, 31 kilometers, 500 meters. And it's going up. Now it's 55 kilometers, 144 meters. He's arriving around 42, 45 kilometers. He's going to be the hard time, the, the decision to be on. 128 laps right now to Victor Campenar, 32 kilometers. He's in front, 55 kilometers, 153 meters. The time is now 35 minutes right now. 35 minutes. At kilo 32. 130 laps. 32 kilometers, 500 meters. Now he, he needs 22 kilometers to rock the Bradley Wiggins record. UCI hour record time it by Tissot at Bicentennial Bellotron at Aguascalientes, Mexico. Aguascalientes is famous on the world because the national exhibition is going to start, one of the most famous exhibition in Mexico, is going to start next weekend. All fight, sports, culture, for three weeks. The exhibition of exhibition in Mexico is in Aguascalientes. And now with this record, they can to be starting a wonderful time for this 2019 year for Victor Saudal, Victor Copenars, or Lotto Saudal team. 
He's now going up 55 kilometers, 147 meters. Look the speed, look the time. 36 minutes, 47 seconds, and he's going up. Many experts have not. The security that Victor can to broke a rather weekend record, but he's going now at 34 kilometers. He's going up. Five hundred meters up of Bradley Wiggins time. Don't forget that the Lee Valley Velo Park London Velodrome was in June 7, 2015. This right now going to Brock. Ready. Eight minutes is going to come. 55 kilometers, 138 meters. It's going to 35 kilometers in a race, on a track. Behind the chrono. This is Victor Campenarts. Lotto Saudal has 38 minutes, five seconds. 40, 35 kilometers. Victor versus the chronograph. Right now, this is the special moment. 35 kilometers. He needs 20 kilometers more to put his name in a gold list of the UCI world record. At 19th century, the world record start with 35 kilometers, 325 meters. At Paris Velodrome, Henri Desgrange, the French rider, was the first man to make the hour record. And now 36 kilometers, 55.136. That's enough. He needs to rock for one second or for one meter to make a new a new world record, the UCI official today is going to be in a few minutes 146 laps. He needs 219 laps. It's too long, it's too much, that's enough. Because Victor is safe, 55 kilometers, 137 meters right now. He has 40 minutes, 10 seconds now. The last 20 minutes, this is the difficult time, this is a moment. And now, Victor Campenarts and Lotto Saudal is going to the history. 37 kilometers. And it's going up. It's the same sprint, it's the same speed, it's the same line, maybe a little bit difficult. Uh, the line of the started and the finish line. And all this time, the commission needs to walk, needs to run until he decides that the time was over for a lap, for a one hour. But now, technicians make an electronic control. And surely it's going to be a doping control the international commissaire of the UCI, Ludwig Johansen, he's a Mexican, but the name is in Germany, was ready to take 
a doping test, doping control to Victor Campenard. And now we are going to 38 kilometers, 500 meters. This is the lap 154. It's here. Two more laps. There's going to be 39 kilometers. And the speed is the same, 55, 130, 134, 128. It doesn't make any difference, it's just a second, it's just a meter. But he's a strong. Now he's going in a lap, 156 for the 39 kilometers. Victor Campenards is coming. Look the time, look the speed, 42 minutes. 26 seconds, 39 kilometers, 156 laps. 157 now. He's going for 40 kilometers. Secrets of this attempt is about the the disc and the sprocket that Victor is using. A technical decision. There was two bikes ready and start. Everybody in the Lotto Soudal team was ready three days ago at the West Calientes. Now, 40 kilometers, 43 minutes, 32 seconds at 40 kilometers. Now, it's just arriving for the last 15 minutes to go. And the speed is the same, 55 kilometers, 117 meters. The chrono is now in 44 minutes, and the distance is 40 kilometers, 500 meters, 163 laps. It's running now. Two more laps is going to be arriving for the last 15 minutes. Victor Campenards, Belgium cyclist. He was born at October 28. 1991, 27 years old, and Wilk Ambers, Belgium. And now, at 55 kilometers, 111 meters, by hour the speed, 41 kilometers. He's going to arrive in the next lap. 45 minutes is going to come. And the speed is up 41, 245 minutes right now. The last 15, the last stronger, the last difficult for Victor Campanares from Lotto Saudal. Energy Lab, Golazo, time it by Tissot. This is the UCI Hour World Record at the Huascalientes Bicentennial Velodrome, Huascalientes, Mexico. This should be the seventh record on this track. It was talking about you. The first record was from Sarah Hammer from the United States, an individual pursuit, ladies, three kilometers. And later, the Germany speed team with Rene Engels, Joachim Ehlers, and Robert Forseman in 2013. Christina Vogel, the same year for 200 flying meters, and Francois Pervis, the only one man who can to run the kilometer in 56 seconds, and the 200 flying meters in nine seconds, 347. And the Mexican Jessica Salazar has the record of 500 meters in 32 seconds, 200. 68, the Mexican Jessica Salazar in the same track. Now, 200 
and 75 meters up than 40 kilometers and the speed little bit down now 55 kilometers 93 meters this is the difficult time I was talking about you the last 15 kilos the last 10 minutes but the decision the position that's the logical the strongest now it's a difficult lactic ice it is now taking Victor Campenard 55 kilometers going a little bit down he was 55 130 meters and speed now 43 kilometers 500 174 laps 175 now when we are at the principal tribune now and he's going for the kilometer number 44. He needs now 10 kilometers and 528 meters. When we is right on the line, right now, 44 kilometers, 47. He has until 12 minutes to go. This is the time to be fastest, to be strong, to Make a decision on the concentration to Victor Campenard. Look at this. this is a difficult because now the strong, the arms, it's a lot of time. He has 48 minutes, 30 seconds. And the speed just to be the same 55.082. That's enough right now, but that's enough. 44 and 750 kilometers now. He's going to minute 49, 11 more minutes to break the record of Bradley Wiggins. The time is now, 11 minutes to go. 11 minutes to go, 180 laps. He needs 218, 38, 37 laps now. It's possible to do it, 45 kilometers and 205 meters. It is possible, it'll be down, just a meters, just a second. But the decision is now, mental control of Victor Campenaert. Strainer, technical director, is talking about him. It's time. We remember when Francesco Moser, on the first day that he was training at the Mexican Olympic Committee, the plan says only 20 kilometers. But when he broke the 5 kilometers, the 10 kilometers, 20 kilometers, he go on and break the Eddie Merckx record. The first man who can to be under 50 kilometers, Francesco Moser. No public, no Italian television, no press. And then four days later, Francesco <laughs> can to broke his own record to put 51 kilometers, 141 meters. Only four days a difference. And now, we have 46 kilometers, 500 meters, 186 laps. Look the speed, 5507 kilometers. This is the minute 51 going on. And for the 47 kilo, Victor Saudal, it's right now, it's now or never. 47 kilometers, he's going now on this line. 51 minutes, 12 seconds. This is the last eight minutes and a half to go. The speed is the same. 
is up of 55 kilometers. Victor Campenaerts is going. Now on the lap 190. Look, 47 kilometers, 500 meters. And he has more than eight minutes to go. He needs 28 laps, 27 right now. This is the front line, this is the start line. 191 laps. He's going for the kilometer 48. The speed, it's okay. 55 kilometers, 65 meters. Victor Campenaerts from Belgium. 48 kilometers, 52 minutes, 18 seconds. Seven minutes and 30 seconds to go. To Brock, the Bradley Wiggins record. Now is the moment. This is when the time, the weather is changing because at Aguascalientes time, it's going to be 12 o'clock, six minutes to 12, and he needs seven minutes to go. 48 kilometers, 500 meters. Victor Campenaerts is going to the history. The speed is correct, 55 kilometers, 62 meters by hour. Less than seven minutes. 196 lakhs, 49 kilometers now. It's possible to rock. He's going up. He is 500 meters. This is around two laps at Ventage. That's enough. But he's going now for 198 laps. 55 kilometers, 62 meters by hour. Now the time, the chrono is 54 minutes. So he's going 54 minutes right now. He has 49 kilometers and a half. Victor Campenar, Lotto Saudal, the UCIR record is going to be broken. A new cyclist, a new world record is going to come to Aguascalientes in a few minutes. He's now riding to the kilometer 50. Look the time. This is the lap 200. 18 more laps. 54 minutes, 29 seconds. Five minutes and a half to broke the record. 18 laps, that's enough. Victor is going up. He's going to close, he's going to sprint. He knows that this is the moment. 101 lap, less than 17 laps. He's going to 550. Arriving 55 minutes right now. 200, two laps. He needs 16 laps. The speed is about 500. 55 kilometers, 63 in a lap. But look over there, 23 laps in five. And 50 kilometers, 75 meters need to make all that we have now. This is the lap 104. 14 laps to go. There is less than four minutes and a half. 52 kilometers. That's the distance that he has now. Three kilometers and two and 526 meters. Less down, 55 laps. 51 kilometers, 250. He needs, right now, only four kilos. The last 12 laps, four minutes, it's enough. The time for lap is okay. Pay attention. Don't move. Victor Campenaerts is trying, is looking. He's near to broke the Bradley Wiggins record. 207 laps now. The speed, 55. 60 meters an hour. Now he's 
running for 52 kilometers, one, 208 laps. Right now, the public is going with him. The last three minutes he's going, when he are on the front at the principal tribune, he's running for the 52 kilometers, 200 meters. He needs right now two kilos to break the record. That's enough, three, three minutes, three minutes 200. Victor Campenars, Lotto Saval, the UCR hour record type it by this song is going. 210 laps, 52 and 500 meters. Victor is going with the rest, with all decision, with the heart, the mind. Two, 52 kilometers, he's going for kilo 53, one kilo 50 meters to go to Brock and he has more than two minutes. The new world record is coming at Aguascalientes. 52 kilometers now. Now it's going to last two minutes. 55, 0, 6, 3, the speed. Victor Campenars is near. He's going to. He needs more than kilometer. He has two minutes to go. It is possible. It is near. Victor Campenars is coming to the history. And another Belgian cyclist, 53 and 500 meters. He has 1 minute 45 seven. Remember, 54.526 Bright Greenly Wiggins record is going to be down in Aguascalientes. 115 laps. This is the lap 200. 16, he needs two more laps. He has one minute for two more laps. That's enough. You are looking, this is a new world record at the Aguascalientes Bicentennial Velodrome. 54 kilometers right now. He needs two laps to break the rock, the hour record for Bradley Wiggins. This is Victor Campena. One lap to go. He has one minute to make the new hour record. The new man. This is the lap that he needs to break the Bradley Wiggins records. <laughs> now is broken. This is the last lap. 30 seconds to go. The speed 55, 76. This is the lap. 19, 219, we have a new world record at the Bicentennial Velodrome in Mexico. This is a new world record, 54 kilometers, 700 meters. This is the lap 220. Victor Campenars is now a new record man. Oh, listen, the signal, the shot make out the distance, and he has more than 55 kilometers in an hour. Victor Campenars, Lotto Saudal team. And now he needs uh, around three or four laps. Now all is finished, and you can. Be at the history with us. Record, 55 kilometers, 87 meters, not official yet. The UCI commissar needs to check and to sign the result to make it unofficial. Not to match people, now with the Belgian flag. Now, like Eddie Merckx in 1972 at Mexico Olympic Velodrome, like Ferdinand Black in 1977, or like Oscar van den Elden in 1897, yes, 1897 was the first Belgian rider, 39 kilometers, 146, and this is the, the team, which is the official song. The winner lap.
Victor Campenard is a new our world record man. And this is the seventh record at the velodrome of Aguascalientes, the bicentennial velodrome. One hour, all minus 10 seconds, and 291 centennials. Speed official is not yet, but we can to say you 55 kilometers, 80. Nine meters, 221 laps. He needs 219. This is more than three laps up the Bradley Wiggins record. And now Victor Campenars, maybe not the most popular rider on the peloton, on the professional peloton, but now is congratulated by his team. I'm going to time and review to the official victory ceremony to make, listen, look at the team. But it's a new world record man, Victor Campenais from Lotto Saudal, Belgium cyclist. Three months at Namibia, two weeks at Aguas Calientes. prepare this atom that now is not an atom it's a new hour record UCI hour record time it by Tissot this is Victor Saudal Victor Capenail Saudal is the team Saudal Lotto Saudal team Victor Capenail I'm very congratulated in the name of everyone Je hebt het gedaan, je hebt de wielergeschiedenis geschreven. Jij bent de wereldrecordhouder, hoe voelt dat? Ja, uh, dat is echt een doel, uiteraard, waar ik uh, al lang naar werk. Um, fantastisch. Ondersteuning van iedereen, maar vooral uh, Stig. Hangt er aan vast. We gaan een pannenkoek moeten gaan eten in de, de pannenkoekenboot in Dessel. Je hebt mij gisteren een berichtje gestuurd dat uh, als ik het ouder dat we een pannenkoek gingen eten. Ik sta voor dat jij die pannenkoek betaalt. Dat moet er vanaf kunnen, meer dan ene. <laughs> je zit hier nog relatief fris, moet ik zeggen. Terwijl dat heel veel van jouw voorgangers die zeiden: Dit was het zwaarste uur uit je carrière. Die hadden ontzettend hard afgezien. Hoe zat dat bij jou? Ja, ik denk. Uh, ik heb zelf niet meegezien op tv, maar ik denk dat de laatste vijf minuten misschien wel boekdelen spraken. Um, ik wist dat ik goed bezig was en dat is altijd super motiverend. Misschien een beetje te veel full gas from the beginning. <laughs> dat was je liedje, hè? Ja, ja. En um, na half weg voelde ik wel dat mijn starttempo iets te optimistisch was. Ik zit altijd uh, vol geloof in jezelf natuurlijk. Jij had voor mij een doel voorop gesteld van 55-5. Mijn doel was om het record van Wiggins te breken. Dus... 55-2. Uh, sorry, 55-2. Um, maar als ik zie dat ik in het begin uh, oh, uh, dicht tegen de 16-2 aan tijd draai, dan word ik wel optimistisch. Maar uh, een uur heeft uh, geen geheimen en dat slaagt wel keihard terug. Maar ik denk dat ik er nou wel even voor mijn eigen heb kunnen zeggen. Realistisch blijven, een beetje gas terugnemen, terug een ritme kunnen vinden. En dan op het einde op karakter iets wat kunnen versnellen. Er, was, er waren niet veel supporters, dat had ik zelf zo gevraagd. Maar de supporters die er waren, dat was fantastisch. En uh, vooral de, de maanden hier dan vooraf, in de laatste maand, denk dat is absoluut een hoogtepunt in mijn carrière tot dusver. En uh, ik vrees dat ik moet zeggen dat dat uh, misschien het hoogtepunt gaat blijven. Een maand lang, uh, God in Mexico, <laughs> iedereen dat ik hier tegenkwam was hier voor mij. Uh, iedereen bijna hier in de zaal komt hier voor mij naar Mexico. Um, op een of welke andere wedstrijd. Als je het zelf niet doet, zal er wel iemand anders in de spotlight staan. Dat brengt een beetje druk met zich mee. Um, maar uh, 
Jullie spraken altijd over de magische grens 55. Uiteraard is dat ook wel iets waar je van droomt. Um, en dat is dan wel fantastisch als je voelt aankomen dat dat de mogelijkheid is. En nu zou ik graag weten wat dat uiteindelijk de afstand was. 55 en 89 meter. Dat is juist getimed. Hè? One question in English. You took the hour record. How does that feel, Victor? Yeah. I'm super happy and uh, I think if I look to the list um, that I'm in now, uh, I'm uh, between the greatest cyclists in history. Uh, I really focused on this for a long time, so I'm really super happy that I took the record and I'm also really happy that I could uh, break the magic uh, 55 kilometers. How hard was it? Uh, it was really hard, especially um, because I was a bit optimistic in the first 30 minutes. You have to be optimistic, but after uh, half an hour, it was really um, important to set a new pace a little bit slower. I think I did great. Uh, I, I slowed down a little bit, but still, I think I still was at almost every part of the race a little bit faster than begins. Um, so. I'm really happy that uh, I worked really hard and really long for this. The team supported me, gave me the confidence, 100% confidence. And um, I think it's important uh, to uh, give a good response to that confidence. I hope I did. <laughs> yeah, you did. Now you can celebrate. Merry congratulations. Victor Kamper. We laten Victor nog heel even uitpuffen voordat we overgaan naar de officiële ceremonie. Dat zal niet heel lang meer duren. Oké okay, mannen, zeg het maar. Ik ga hem nog tot de formule eigenlijk al. Ondersteunt hem als dat bal. De juiste afstand wordt nog berekend. Lekker naar het podium. Dat was zoals in een echte tijd niet. Ja. Ik moest daar even uh, terugkomen. Ja, ja. ja, maar zacht. Maar nu is het een avontuur perfect. Ja. En ze hebben nou allemaal gezegd: die laatste 20 minuten die gaan het maken. En dat bleek dus ook. En uh, de curve, de curve ja. lag volledig open. Ja, dat is waar. Ja. Yeah. The officials are still checking the right distance. 
So let's wait for one or two more minutes. And the final distance is five five. I'm watching I'm watching the official commissaire and he will tell us the final distance that Victor wrote. It's fifty-five kilometers. Zero eight nine. Zero eight nine. Fantastic. So, ladies and gentlemen, may we have your attention, please, for the award ceremony of this UCR our record timed by Tissot. As soon as Victor has a blue shoes. He's ready. Ladies and gentlemen, the new holder of the UCI Our Record Time by Tissot from Belgium, de Belgica, Victor Kampenaerts. A watch provided by Tissot and the official result board will be presented by Randy Schaefer, Chief Commissaire representing UCI. Fifty-five oh eight nine. Keep it in mind. This is a new milestone in track cycling. I would like to beat noch even a melding to do live, as I can. Say it, Oscar. You're ready for it. Victor. 
Okay, uh, I will do it in English. Um, thanks to all the support. My family, my parents, my friends, and my girlfriend. And of course, all my fans in Borgerhout, in my uh, fan club, fan cafe, Cafe Mombasa. All my fans can drink all the night here <laughs> and if you are not a fan you can still become a fan Morkes plan burger out all night free beer enjoy thank you Victor he's inviting all his fans in Belgium to his favorite pub Dames en heren, het werelduurrecord gaat uit. Tor Tiso staat vanaf nu op naam van een Belg. Hij heet Victor Kampenaert en hij reed maar liefst 55 kilometer en 89 meter. Dankjewel om dit samen met ons meegemaakt te hebben. Many thanks for being here on this historical day in sports today and in track cycling. Safe home and please your last big applause for Victor Kampenaert. Je naam en als het niet lukt, je met je snor, je raadt tegen een taart.